All right, guys, today we have a little bit different video planned. I planned on doing this one a few weeks ago, but uh, the range was all messed up. They don't have a 100-yard range out where I wanted to go, so we got to go to a inferior gun range today. have three guns I want to side in. Going to side in my new Vortex Viper PST Gen 2. Uh and a thermal at Academy right now. I have to go get some hand warmers to place behind the target or on it so that we can uh, have some sort of heat signature to actually shoot it. But other than that, mm, anything else? We're heading to the range. So, dude. How's it's been it going? a very frustrating process. <laughs> Miss Blind Eyes behind me couldn't tell me where the bullets were hitting. Oh, we and then whenever go. I shot, what happened? You can see couldn't where tell they where were. Couldn't tell where the bullets were hitting, mm -hmm. but had to go all the way up and then all the way down, and then I just went all the way up again, and then I just started going halfway around the turret, and then I eventually got to where I touched the paper, came in a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Now I got three shot groups. Within an inch at 25, not too bad. Hopefully, I can get not necessarily on paper at 100, but hopefully, I can get some decent groups at 100 because that is the idea. You mad, bro? No, it's just really irritating <laughs> whenever I can pick up one gun and go bang, 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 and all the bullets hit where you want, and you pick up another gun and you go bang, bang, bang. And all the bullets hit where you want. And then when you have one that doesn't at first, oh, it's irritating. I gotta have all the, all the experts roasting you in the comments. Sighting in the thermal as well. I don't know if y'all can see that. This is 25 yards. All three bang, bang, bangs are on that. Can you get that out of my pocket for me real quick? This is what I have down there. It's one of these little hand warmers. And at 25 yards, let's go focus up, focus up. 25 yards, I have all three bullets on there. We'll go look at that real quick. Ugh, it is extremely muddy out here at the range. But guys, hopefully I'll be doing some hunting this weekend. So just coming out, confirming zeros and whatnot. And uh, yeah, here these are. So, I shot and I randomly hit right there. Or no, randomly hit he actually there. And I shot again to confirm it. And I was like, all right, I need to come down. Dropped it down. Then I was like, mm, I'm just gonna take another shot. Shot and hit. And I was like, all right, that's where I need to be. And then bang, bang. Adjust it again. Bang, bang, bang. And, uh, this is only 25 yards. Hopefully we can do maybe a little bit better groupings out at 100. We'll just have to see. It was kind of frustrated. I already shot a, a box of bullets and uh, you can't really tell anything when all this, all this is just mud. So you don't really get any dirt or anything. There's holes all in this. And then I don't know how, but I was getting bullet fragments in here and they look like hits, right? Maybe, maybe a little, like, look at this one. That looks like a bullet went through there, but it didn't. This is where a bullet went through, and that was throwing me off as well earlier. But I patched all that one up and checked that out. Three shots. Nice. I'm going to let, let her shoot the 224 a few times and while it's actually hitting the target and see how how she likes it. I mean, it hits, you can hit either either one of the little things up there. You're gonna sit on your foot again? Yeah, have to. Is it ready to go? Yeah, you can adjust the stock if you need to. The little button on the bottom. This one? Yeah. Oh. They're like way too big for my head. 
Which one did you say? Just any of the little dots. Oh, I can see it now. Dude. Did it hit where you were aiming? Dead center, dead on. That's the, right next to the... That's the goal. Shoot again. <laughs> Dude, we gotta go look at those. I that was awesome. We're gonna go see her group and then we're gonna move out to 100 yards, 224. Hopefully, we can get some more blood spilled with it sooner than later. Oh, oh my God. Dude, that was awesome. Yeah, three, three of those. That's one, two, three no. right there. Not yeah. not the center one. That was the third one. It was yeah. one, two, three. Yeah, bang, bang, bang. Nice. So awesome. And that's what it's supposed to do. The thermal. Dude, that was awesome. That gun's fun to shoot. It's like really smooth. Yeah, needs some oil, but other than that, it's a nice day today at least. Yeah, so hot. nice and Feels muddy. Good. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. And it like weighs your foot down too. I like it. Shoot, okay? Yes, sir. Right here on the, so not the joint, but on the meat right here, okay? That was right next to Nothing to be scared of. Light flinch. Light flinch. Squeeze, squeeze, let it surprise you. So guys, this is what we are sighting in today. This is the Savage Valkyrie, the 224 Valkyrie rifle. This is a uh, pretty much a bone stock setup besides a old dinky bipod, uh, kinetic M lock to Picatinny adapter, and then up top, I do believe this is a Burris Black. I do believe, I don't know, but it's it just says black on the side, doesn't say anything else. I'm pretty sure it's Burris Black uh, uh, ring setup, and then up here we have the let's see if that'll focus Viper PST. Gen 2, this is a 3 to 15 by 44 millimeter optic. This is the MOA. Yeah, 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 I opted for, for MOA on this one. Savage actually sent me this rifle so I could test it out, uh, shoot some pigs with it, shoot some coyotes and whatnot, and uh, just give them some information about it, you know, promote them and whatnot. I got it, got it dialed in today, uh, put two bullets in the same hole at 100 yards, could have fine tuned it a little bit more, but we got in the truck to leave at 5.56. The range closed at 6. Didn't want to be those guys that just sat out there for a little bit. Uh, so far, I don't plan on really changing anything on this rifle. Uh, the trigger isn't too bad right now. And just so y'all know, so I'm not that guy. Gun is clear. Gun is clear. Gun is clear. Just so y'all know. I, I like the trigger, guys. It's not. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's. It's. I. I, I don't. Don't know the exact poundage on it, but it's. Uh, it's nice. It really is. I do not like the Magpul UBR. 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 I plan on changing this to Magpul PRS. Uh, if anybody wants to buy this one, let me know. It'll be for sale soon. Um, other than that. Oh, I have a suppressor coming in sooner than later, and uh, this will be swapped out for the suppressor adapted uh, suppressor adapter muzzle brake ish device. Other than that, guys, I need some more mags because the 224 Valkyrie fits in a 6.8 or 
or 6.5 or something like that mag. And I don't have many of those. I have a lot of 5.56 mags. But guys, this is going to be my main, more or less, daytime hunting, uh, coyote calling uh, type rifle. Uh, I'm talking with Pulsar and a couple other people. I'm trying to get a thermal that mounts in front, a little clip-on thermal that mounts in front, so I'll be able to use this gun uh, for that type of application, so nighttime hunting. Uh, I plan on going hunting sometime this weekend, maybe. Um, if we record any footage or anything like that, I'll be sure to save it. Maybe make a video out of it. I don't know yet, guys. We'll just have to see, but had to confirm zero on the thermal today, confirm zero on my backup gun that I just always carry around with me. It's just my beater. It's like a $500 Frankenstein AR. And then uh, get out there and shoot this one and confirm this one as well as just get some content with it, take some pictures and whatnot, some video as you can see here. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, my last video was a goose hunt. I'll link that up at the top. We killed 70 plus birds. It's sick. Not many people watched that video. I don't know why. My other, my other hunting video, you know, people really took it well. A lot of people went and watched it. This one, I don't, I don't know what it was. Not that many, not that many people went over there and check that out so we'll just have to see uh other than that i got some new truck parts in so i'm going to be possibly making a video about those i don't know they're kind of small they're not really they're not really like a big they're kind of small parts and i don't want to make like a 10 or 15 minute video over like a five minute clip part type ish video that it should be, right? I'm not gonna be one of those guys that, you know, turns getting rock lights in the mail into a 15, seven ad video. But uh, other than that, we're going to uh, get this gun clean, put some frog lube in it. I'm about to go to the gym. Girlfriend just made some pre-workout. And then once I get back, I'm gonna be streaming. Guys, I stream every night, listen, if this doesn't tell you the kind of person I am on how well-rounded I am as a person, I just went and shot. Did some manly shit, you could say. Drove the truck. The truck's badass. The guns are badass. I can't say gun. I'm going to get demonetized. But now I'm going to go stream some video games because that's what I do, guys, because... I'm a pretty well-rounded person. If y'all want to see some, uh, some video game content, I'm live every night, twitch.tv. Slash French right there, uh, 1,800 followers. Uh, it's pretty sick, man. We get 10, 20, 30 people in the stream every night just hanging out. Got some regulars, got some people that have just promoted the moderator because they're always in the stream hanging out, helping out. Really appreciate it. So if you're into video games, guys, uh, come hang out. It's mainly Fortnite. If I get fed up with Fortnite, I go over to Black Ops 4. Then I get fed up and move back. So, yeah, that's how that goes. So hog, coyote hunting, killing videos coming soon, hopefully. Uh, more truck content. Like I said guys, as long as I have the truck, I'm gonna keep using the truck. You know, if one day it sells, it sells. If not, then, you know, we'll keep building this one out because I still love this truck guys, whether what I said before, like got twisted the wrong way with y'all. So other than that guys, this is my Savage Arms 224 Valkyrie. It's awesome, I love it. it shoots flat, hits hard, man. You hear this thing thump really hard whenever you hit a pig with it. I like it. Um, we shot some gray foxes the other night. My buddy has his 224. Uh, he hit both of them. Uh, if we, if I'm able to get a decent, uh, let me see, a decent uh, entry and exit wound, if we shoot, you know, some fur bearing animal, whether it's a raccoon or a, uh, not a skunk, you know, like, raccoon, possum, coyote, bobcat, uh, red fox, gray fox, something like that, then uh, I'm gonna try to do like a, not a catch clean cook, but like a catch clean tan, you could say, and then I'll just, I'll skin it out, because one thing, I really like fur, guys. I do, I wish trapping down here in Texas was a bigger thing, but it just, it's too hot, too long, fur doesn't get prime enough, so I can't really run the trap line as, per se, as like I used to in Pennsylvania, you know, so, uh, Whatever I did get, I would just tan myself and I would just, there's plenty of open spaces on walls and whatever. It'd be a cool 
backdrop to add to the stream, maybe a desk area or something like that, toss up a couple couple furs and whatnot. So I plan on having a, making a video like that sooner or later, it just depends on whether or not we're able to call in something and then not put a six inch in diameter hole through the other side of it. Hollow points, thank you very much. Other than that guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. Thank y'all, I appreciate you watching and peace.